Well, good morning, and it's another morning in Sanur. Um, we had another late night last night in Casablanca. Good fun. Um, that guy who was doing the earth, wind and fire stuff, he was amazing, really was. Uh, shame I can't show the footage because uh, YouTube and everything, but um, I'll try and find out some more information about him because he really, really was good. Um, I have a feeling he was on loco. He was um, welcomed as soon as he came into Casablanca, so uh, they knew him and a few people seemed to know him, So, uh, but his voice was amazing. And you might even know who it is, and it might not be someone from Java, it might be someone from Bali. I don't know, I really don't know. Um, but today, I'm going to go out and have some breakfast. We're Mark and V, and this is our adventures. V ordered scramble eggs, and it's come out as fried eggs. She ordered um, extra mushrooms. She's got exactly the same amount of mushrooms as me. Um, it's going to be baked beans as well. Oh, sorry, no baked beans. <laughs> Initially, I ordered barley coffee. It came out as percolated coffee. Eventually, I've got barley coffee. Sorry, this is going to be the slowest and poorest breakfast we've had served to us so far. Well, that was um, breakfast in um, Peng Pengkola. I think that's how you call it, Pengkola. It's just um, up to the side of the night markets. Um, sadly, it really was one of the worst breakfasts I've had. We ordered scrambled eggs and it came out as eggs, you know, fried eggs. I ordered eggs sunny side up, um, baked beans. Um, when it came out, she said, oh, sorry, we ran out of baked beans, but give you extra mushrooms. Uh, but I had no more mushrooms than V did. Um, this little plate, the mushrooms were soaked in vinegar, a bit cold. Yeah, all in all, not very good. I also ordered a barley coffee, just a, a standard barley coffee. And even that come out, it was really that horrible, cheap tasting um, coffee taste, uh, you know, percolated, over percolated type of coffee. So I took it back and I said, I asked for barley coffee. She said, oh no, we don't have any barley coffee. So, um, I don't know, maybe that's the owner telling her, you know, if we got it, serve them something else. In all honesty, you want to have what you ask for, really. Um, sorry, but uh, that's probably the worst breakfast experience I've had. But we did the, um, the Sindhu market, the, the older market, and today we're going to go down and uh, we're going to go into the newer markets on uh, the left hand side. You've got the um, Pantai Sindhu, which is the road we're on now. So if you go to the right at the bottom here, you go to the old markets. And if you go to the left, um, you go to the new markets. And uh, the way you'll know you're in the new markets is because there's a lot more fixed price shops in there. And um, that's where you'll find Tootsies as well, which um, I know a lot, a lot of people, a lot of people aim for Tootsies because they know they're going to get a decent price. And it's a good starting point, really, if you're going to, if you want to go out and start haggling you know the limit of where the, you know, you're probably going to go. I don't know how hard you haggle, but sometimes you'll try and haggle too low and you'll know when you've done that because they just won't be interested. They won't want to talk to you anymore. So that's the point where you need to know where um, you can't go any lower. You know, let's face it. Yeah, when we're haggling, we're haggling for pence, you know. We're not haggling for very much. So don't be too hard on them. Have a bit of fun, because, you know, they like that. Don't be really, really hard. I mean, if you don't want the stuff, it's a different matter. You know, maybe even don't even consider hag. And as we come down lower into um, Pantai Sindhu, there'll be um, the Sindhu, Sindhu Beach Hotel. And we stayed there last year. Um, obviously, things were so much quieter last year. I mean, last night, that traffic. I mean, you've seen, obviously seen it now in the previous video. And if you ain't watched it, you need to watch it. Traffic from, we went from Kuta, Kuta Beach, back to Sanura. And it took us probably in the region of about uh, maybe an hour and 30, hour and 40 minutes. Traffic was just a standstill. And the problem was everybody was trying to beat everybody you know, single file traffic, so um, people decided to come down on the outside of it. And uh, just bringing everything to gridlock at times. 
and uh, I've never seen anything like it myself and I'm hoping it's just because it's um, you know it's the um, uh, celebration of Eid so lots of people are coming over from Java and because they're coming over from Java they're all coming over in their cars and there is loads more cars on the road currently in in Bali and you can tell them as soon as you look around you know if you're looking around to see a registration like this at N that one's a I think Juggy Carter maybe and over there is a B um, that one's a Jakarta um, I do know that one for definite and uh, just out of interest uh, the way that it works out is it, it's like the prefixes as A, B, C, D, so on. And it goes um, from the far west, which is A, and Jakarta's B, and then it just carries on across the, across um, Kuta. Oh, sorry, Kuta. Just carries on across uh, Java, and that's how the registrations have worked out. Until you get to Bali, and then you're obviously Bali's DK. I'm sure you knew that anyway. But if you didn't, it's a little bit of interesting information, I suppose. You can see here, we've just gone past a P, then a B. You know, so you know there's lots more cars on the island at the moment. Far more than there ever normally is. That's where we stayed before, last year, in a Cindy. And if you want to see um, any videos on that, I can uh, put a little link up in the top corner so you can see that. Um, when we stayed there last year, the, this road was empty. And uh, yeah, looking in there, I can see B, B, uh, DK. So, so, so many extra cars at the moment. And that explains why it was so busy. Anyway, I'm going to um, go into the market. Say, good morning. How are you? I'm looking. I've got stuff like that. Everybody always assumes that I'm Australian. I don't know why, um, but. Uh, Everything they want to sell me is in dollars. Um, so I end up having to try and do a double conversion. But luckily, they're just sort of a, their conversion is um, a dollar is 10,000 rupee. So it's not too bad, but um, you just have to be a bit more thinking when you're doing it. Um, not too hard. But, uh, good morning, how are you? Anywhere, thank you. I know you live from before, yeah. Yeah, that's that. right. You did. Make, yeah, make, you come now, make. <laughs> right, here we are. We're in um, uh, Baruna Beach Market now. So I'm going to take you down through the, the market, show you a few stalls, talk to a few of the ladies, um, show you what's available. And who knows, I might even buy something myself. And the num first one is number four. I noticed... Um, Sometimes the shops all go in order, sometimes the shops don't. So um, when I point them out, don't necessarily think they're one after another. So this is uh, Tia shop number four. And as we walk in, I'm gonna get mugged straight away. Most of these, you know, are gonna be very similar, but I'm gonna show you what's available. Um, lots of stuff for ladies. Um, when we come down, hello. And your name is? Susan. Susan. My name's Susan. That is Susan. Yes, and I'm work in your in the shop, Boston Camille. Yeah, num shop number four? No, number three. Number three. My shop number three. This is shop number three. So we're just going to show you a bit of that around the whole shop. And just in case there's something you see and you fancy, you will know exactly where they come. Lots of singlets, but lots of ladies. Lots for the ladies. Lots for the ladies. Um, so a few ladies, same thing you want. Top. Tops for the ladies, yes. Singlet for the ladies. Singlets here, lady singlets. A bag. You see a bag. So maybe there's something. For the children. And children sizes here as well. This for the children. As well. So there might be something you see that you like, and if there is, you can come along to shop number three, to Susan, and I'm sure she's going to be more than happy to help you out. I do get the feeling that um, they're really struggling down this market still, even though a lot of them are fixed priced. Um, as we come down, it's shop number four, um, with some children's toys, and um, 
lots of lady stuff in there again. Um, I'm not going to go in every single one. Um, little bags here. Plenty of bags, lots of ladies' tops again. And, and we come along, we have shop number five. Uh, there are some people in here. This is a fixed price, um, sicky shop. So we'll have a little wander in, and see what they've got to offer. Good morning, how are you? Good. All so, right. So just, we'll just have a little wander around and you can see what you can see in here. Lots and lots of bags in here. So um, if the bags is your thing. Um, Hello, how are you? Okay. You come around, you've got lots of shirts here and singlets, even some hoodies, which is um, something you don't see very often actually. Yeah, Just don't see hoodies very often at all. So, um, if you're looking for a hoodie, if you know, if you're heading back to Europe and you're going to be a bit cold and you ain't got a hoodie, it might be worth coming in here. How much are the hoodies? 200. So there you are, that's two, 200 for a hoodie. Um, that's not a bad price, really. That's um, um, me converting, that's about £11, £11, £12. So, um, can buy them in the UK for that type of money, but um, if you're out here and you decide you're going back and you ain't got much because you've been travelling, that's definitely going to be a good thing. As we look around, uh, t shirts. Australian football tops. And we look around. Right, so that's um, shop number three, four. Shop number four, number shop number five. Number five. This is shop number five. I'll get it right in a minute. <laughs> okay, thank you. So that was Sicky shop number five. And we'll carry on down. Obviously, there's another Sicky shop here. So um, they've obviously got quite a piece on it. We've got Tootsie there next to it, that side. And Tootsie is um, where we went yesterday to have a look around. So we'll just give you a quick run around again, because we did go in yesterday. Now, no, Tootsie, hello there. Tootsie is a, a favourite. Um, all the Australian forums um, talk about Tootsie because um, they get fair price here and they like the uh, quality of the goods. Um, me and V come in here yesterday and V bought a few bits and pieces and uh, you look around um, certainly got a lot of choice and if there's something you're really looking for there's bags lots of ladies lots and lots of ladies stuff uh, it does seem like the men do get left out of it really unless you want a singlet or a t-shirt We've got all sorts of bits and pieces here. And we'll carry on. I think we'll go and have a look in here because it looks like slightly different bits and pieces in here. Um, it's always good to see something slightly different. Um, okay. Now we're, we're in here. Is this your shop? Yep. And you are? Pardon? Your name is? Uh, come on. Come on. And this is Sicky Shop. And as you can see in here, this fixed price again? Yep. Fixed price shop. So um, definitely some different stuff in here. Um, straight away, I, I see we have the um, the earphones I was talking about the other day um, that pair up with Apple devices. Um, read that. And they're two hundred. So um, that's the earphones that when you pair them up with your um, Apple phone, Apple phone actually thinks they're genuine. Air tags, so uh, and I've bought a set, so they are they do work. I've tried them. We come down, we've got lots of other little bits and speakers and aftershaves, fans, and kids' bits and pieces. Lots of hats, There's lots of different stuff in here, actually. It's good to see.
definitely lots of different stuff in here. Lots of sunglasses. And it's funny how um, once upon a time wrap around sunglasses were really the thing. It's my favourite thing, but um, I don't seem to be able to buy them anymore. Only if you buy genuine uglies. So we come round. And all the wooden ducks. The wooden ducks seem to be a bit of a rage at the moment. And the cushions as well. And one of the things we are looking for this year is um, I've got a nephew who is really into Elvis. And um, he knows who he is, so if he's watching this, we're trying to find you something Indonesian Elvis related and we're struggling. But um, if we find anything, we will certainly get it for you. And lots of little badges and key rings and bits and pieces there. So if there's anything you saw in here, this is um, Siki Shop? Yep, Siki, Siki shop. shop. We've got two shops. Two shops. Mm -hmm. So um, this is the man you want to come and see if there's anything in here that you fancy. <laughs> see you later, right? Bye-bye. Yep. Thank you. So we carry on down through. Uh, that's Tootsie's, that's the... Uh, so we're going to carry on deeper into the market. Now, Tootsie got a spa there. And um, I went in earlier and had a massage, and I'll be very honest with you, it's one of the most relaxing massages I've had this year when I've been here. I've had some painful ones. We had one in, um, uh, where was it to? It would have been in Milan. And uh, no, but done in the street, and God, I thought my feet were gonna fall off. So as we come through, um, a lot of them are very, very similar. We're looking at, um, you've got Cindy shop here. And uh, we look um, pretty much everything very, very similar. Hello there, how are you? And you are number 26? Oh, you're in number 36? Okay, we're gonna go and have a look at this one because the lady um, spoke to me, so we'll go and have a look. I'll take my shoes off. Oh, if I'll come off. And we'll go in and have a look and see if there's anything in here. Fixed price. Lowers what we can. Okay, and you are? I'm Inda. 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 Inda number 36. Number 36. So we're going to have a little look around now. Um, come you... from England? Oh, I do come from England, uh, yes. Do you recognise the accent? Yes. Lots of people <laughs> think I'm Australian. No. Straight away I know. Ah, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a different sort of uh, rasp. <laughs> yeah. um, how you are speaking dialect is more English. Ah, I, yeah. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have a look around here. Instantly I can see some children's stuff up there that I've not seen before, the Spiderman stuff. So, um... There you are, there's some little Spiderman tops for ch children up there. We come around, we've got hats. And, uh, we're always looking to see something different. Lots of little girls, um, fair dresses as well down there, which um, I do remember one year we were looking um, for a particular daughter and we couldn't find it anywhere. Um, men's shirts up there, it seems to be a bit of a wider selection as well, actually, which is always good. So uh, yes, there's definitely a wider selection. How much are your men's shirts? 70,000 the men's shirts are, so that's a really good price. Um, I may, may be coming back later and uh, I uh, think I'll see one I like. Um, in fact, I think I might do it now. So just bear with me, guys. Um, can I have a look at that one? I don't normally buy when I'm filming. Yes, <laughs> but let can see the people how it's yes in absolutely yeah uh, and what size is that that's a uh, XL. XL that might be a bit too big for me look can I just uh, uh, please I think Bali XL is Bali XL yes yeah, sometimes smaller than um, yes. uh, England large yes. <laughs> <laughs> correct yeah and I'll just slip him over the top of this one and see if he's sweaty but you know we give you the lowest what we can so oh absolutely easier yeah. Here for you. Well, sometimes yeah. bar barter is nice. Yeah. Um, yeah that's, that's good. That's the right size. Yeah. Have you got the next size down, maybe? Yes, this I have. Yeah. Size 
as a large. Yeah. How about you? SL. Yeah, I think I could one size in the way. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? The thick guys? Yeah, I think so. That's 70,000 for a shirt. Now, I've um, had people trying to charge me 200 for shirts on the street. So that's a really good price. Really good price. Oh, do you have the same style? The same color with... Um... Um, so there you are, even if you come in and you don't have the right size yeah. for what you, um, you're looking for, um, it is possible to get it, isn't it? If, you, if you've got a few days yes, in Sunua. Yes, I will it's... try to get That's right. Yeah. So um, I will come back here in a few days' time. Um, we're here, uh, it's in Sunua now till Saturday. So uh, we will try, we'll come back and hopefully we'll be able to get that one. That'd be perfect. So let's carry on having a look around, see what else we can see. Now, um, V is always buying these um, coils, incense coils. How much do you charge for them? Uh, 100,000. 100,000. Well, I do know, um, I was with thee when she bought some the other day and she paid 120. So that's a very good price. Very good price. Um, and this is what is good about fixed price shops. Um, they look after you in the sense that you're not being hassled um, and you know, driving hard bargains. It's really relaxed and the shopping you want, if you want what it, they got, it's easy. There's sometimes, it's just too hot to fight for you know, a couple of pence, uh, which is really what you're doing, guys. Lots of sunglasses. I keep on looking for Oakley style ones, but um, unfortunately that doesn't happen anymore. And we come around, we've got a few headphones here, um, bum bags. So there's lots here, lots here. To, um, and there's a few shirts I've not seen before as well. Um, there's X-Men up there for children. Um, and Bintang Baby, I've not actually seen that one before. So there's a few different designs. And there's some Harley Davidson stuff. Now, I know how everybody was always looking for Harley Davidson tops. How much are your Harley Davidson t-shirts? This one? Yeah. This one's 70,000. There you are, guys. 70,000 for a Harley Davidson t-shirt. You go into the Harley Davidson shop and you'll be paying 50 pounds for that. So, um... And this is the embroidered one, the good quality one. Okay. 150. Yeah, there you are, guys. That, if you want Harley Davidson stuff, come along. And, and I know a lot... In the case already has size and... Oh, lots of styles there as well. So there you are. Um, very good choice in here. Very good choice. Yeah. Um, and I'll be coming back to get my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Oh, I will be, don't you worry. As long as you got it, I'll be buying it. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much, Terima kasih. Terima kasih banyak, sama-sama. We see you. See you again, mate. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So, um, right, which way am I walking? I'm walking this way. So, like I said the other day, it's very, very easy to get yourself confused when you're walking around in the markets because you come out of the shop, you forget whether you're on the left or the right, and you carry on walking. And sometimes you go the wrong way. So uh, we got um, another couple of shops here. I'm going to wander just a little bit deeper in. And we're still looking for that snail, which I've not seen as such yet. <laughs> Uh, yes, let's have a look. This is um, Desi's shop, number 24. And um, we'll go in and have a look. I'll just take my shoes off. I'm hoping, are you fixed price shop? Yeah, fixed price. Fixed price, yeah. So this is another fixed price shop. This is Desi's shop. Um, now, you know we were looking for a brass snail. And I keep on looking. Um, it's funny that you see one, don't pick it up, and then it's not there anymore. So let's have a look around, whatever. So, um, Nasi Grand Forever, that's the, this year. This is this year's t-shirt. The t-shirt and the sarong, yeah. And there's sarongs there. Yeah. And singlets. And as we come around, lots of ladies' dresses. Um, and men's shirts up here. They feel quite nice quality as well, guys. What sort of money are you charging for these, then? This one, 100. They're 100, okay. Very cheap. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, 
Uh, no, I'm, I'm just I'm just filming for, at the moment. Um, but um, yeah, so you have a look around, guys. Um, maybe there's something in here you you fancy. Um, there's some uh, dream catchers up there, and they got beads and necklaces and bits and pieces here as well. So um, and your and your stubby coolers. So there's lots of little bits and pieces in here. And this is. Sorry, shop number... 24. Shop number 24, and you are... My name is Desi. Desi. Uh, so if there's anything you saw here, come along to shop number 24 and speak to Desi, and she will help you out. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you too. Bye-bye. So there you are. That was, that was number 24. Whoa. Number 24. Number 21. <laughs> and that is 21 there. <laughs> and they're all here. They're all here. <laughs> you want some promotion as well, do you? Should we go in and have a look at your shop? Right. So this is uh, this is Lonin 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 shop number twenty one. So we're going to go in and have a look at Lonin shop number twenty one now. And your name is Lonin. You are Lonin. Hello, Lonin. How are you? I am very well. I'm good too. Absolutely brilliant. So we're going to have a little look around in here. Um, we have like this. Instantly, I can see there's a few singlets up there that I've um, not seen before. Um, it might be something that you're looking for. Lots of um, stubbies and purses, and then we've come down a little bit further. We've got some brass articles, and I look to see if I can see the snail. And nope, still can't see the snail. That's the one thing I'm going to be looking for for the rest of the duration of our stay here. Um, Lots more singlets across the back. Now there's one, certainly a couple there I've not seen before. Um, Captain um, Centre Link, I've seen that before. Um, and there's that one there. We've got Grumpy Old Man. Too. Grumpy Old Man, is that yeah, aimed at me? Is it? Man. It's a grumpy old man, you see? Yeah, that, that's what that's what my children would call me. <laughs> so we come round. There's like men's. Um, Shirts up there, some bags, some women's stuff, some sarons. So, if there's anything you've seen in here that you think you would like, there's some sunglasses here. Anything you see you think you would like, this is where to come and come and see. Sorry, if your name is Lonin. Lonin. I'm, I'm yes. going to get it right. Come and see Lonin, and she'll be only too pleased to help you. Your Mona shop. Same. Oh, same, same. Right, okay. So let's go in and we're going to have a look again. So uh, slightly different stuff in here, which is always refreshing because um, it gets to a stage where you, every shop becomes the same. So you, you don't look in them. Now, we've been looking for this brass snail for a while now and nope, she doesn't have it here. Are you fixed price as well in here? You are fixed price. So. Everything you see in here is fixed price. I'll ask a couple of um, questions when I'm going around so you get some idea of prices. So we'll pick something randomly out and um, ask for a price. Something that you would potentially, you know, get a, a good idea of what the prices are that you want. So we'll have a look around. There's some nice bits and pieces really. If that reminds me a little bit of Dawn from uh, Kuta, if any of you know Dawn. There's a little bikes, and wind chimes. We'll have a look around. There you are, this is a typical example. How much is the umbrella? Oh, that is the price on there, is it? Two fifty. Two fifty. So there you are guys, that's that's a example of the pricing. It's two fifty. We come round, we go various bits of the builders and we've got you know, soft um, sort of beanbag toys, utensils and bowls, cushions and then we come in the other side and then we got more traditional um, like clothing, I say traditional clothing I mean more more of a normal sort of clothing that you expect to see. Although there's more shorts in here, men's shorts which is um, Refreshing to see because uh, you don't see very much in the way of men's shorts in these shops lately. Uh, not with a variation of style, anyway. Um, lots of men's shirts, um, there's always a good guideline. How much are your men's shirts? 
Oh, they they vary, do they? Um, okay, let's say, let's say that one there, that black. Like seventy. They they. Yeah, you are. So that's seventy. So that gives you a good idea of the prices you're paying. And shorts, um, just say we pick um, that pair of shorts there, a pair of um, Billabong shorts. How much would they be? 50. Okay, so they'll be 50. So that gives you a definite idea of their bits and pieces. Um, got some hats in here. So if you need a hat, there's plenty of hats here. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's giving you an idea of what's in the shop some singlets up there. I've noticed um, a few of these um, shops are now doing these sort of tie-dye singlets like you see the Adidas one there's a sort of tie-dye with a print over the top of it which is nice it's a it's a different sort of take on the singlet um, I think it allows you to buy something totally different well have a good look around and if there's anything you really like you need to come here shop number 16 Shop number 16, and you are? Mona Shop. Mona Shop. So there you are. If you see anything you like, come to see Mona Shop number 16. Okay, Tim Makassi. Okay, it's funny because um, I'm they're starting to suss out what I'm doing now. So <laughs> they're starting to suss out what I'm doing. So I'm being, they're shouting out the numbers, which one to go into next? Number 20 next? Number 19. So I'm going to, I'm going to. No, we're going to come in here first, then we'll come to you, number 20, okay? okay. It's, is that okay? We'll do it in order. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we're going to go in there. Go and have a look at a few more now. And see what's what. This Fix is in number 19. Number nine. You can take photo the sarong, what I have here. Sarong. All right. I have more sarong. And you fix brush up? Yes. And how much do you charge for sarong? Which one? Oh, okay, it's right. Different. It's oh, different. Or, uh, um, if you if you just show me prices. It's okay. okay. For this one, uh, it costs uh, eighty. Eighty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. All batik oh, one. Oh, all batik ones. Yeah. This one only five dollars. So fifty thousand. Okay, as I was saying to you before, it's, it's um, they talk in dollars and it, that's Australian dollars, in case yeah. you're wondering, um, because Australians are obviously the, the largest sort of um, population that come here. Um, and this is a 90,000. There you are, that's a 90,000 90 rupee top. Dollars. That's very nice, isn't it? So this is 80. 80,000. And then we got some men's shirts here. Batik, this is real batik one. That's a real batik yeah, one. It costs 80. 80, okay, and yeah. And 60 for the Hawaiian. And there you are, 60 for the shirts. Yeah. That's a really good price. That's yeah. actually the cheapest I've seen anywhere in any of the market stores yeah. yet. See? So it's very good. So. Yeah. And these are all the t-shirts with Bali on. Or okay. If you want with Adidas. With Bali Barong, or only five dollars. Only five dollars. So, so fifty thousand for t-shirt. So um, it's very, very good prices in yeah. here. And the long pants. I saw you one long pants like long this. Long pants. Long pants. Oh yes, yes. It's only seventy. Seventy thousand. There you are. Look 000. at that, guys. Seventy thousand. Yeah. And you can show all the color here. This all. And there we are. Like, all the different Black, colors, all the styles. Uh, yeah. So it's definitely a wide choice here, and very, yes. very good prices. Yes, and it's the dress. The ladies' dresses. Ladies' dresses. Or a silk one. The okay. silk costs $10. That's um, $10, yeah. so that's 100000 100 the same. The same, this nice one. There's 100000 again. Yeah. So some really, really good prices really, in here. Really, really good price. Really good price. And this dress for Mama. A dress for Mama? Yeah. Look. And how much is that one? Only seven. Only seventy thousand. Yes, okay, so we um. And lot, lot of color. Lots of yes. colors, yeah. So um, yeah. certainly got a wide choice in here, yes. and very good prices as well. I may say, um, because you you know over the period of time we've been here, um, we've witnessed lots and lots of um and little, prices. Little shirt. Um, oh, little boy shirts. Boy shirt. And how much are they? Only four dollars. Only forty thousand. Yes. They are. That's, See? that's very good. Yeah. Here. 
So if you got also, you got a younger son who um, yeah. wants a nice shirt. This is t-shirt. And t-shirts and a t-shirt sir. This is for little one, three dollars. Thirty thousand. So there you yeah. go, guys. Um, that certainly gives you an idea. And if you want any of this, you've got to come to this shop. And your shop is shop number... Number 19. Number 19. Wati shop number 19. And you are... Wati. Wati. Mine. So if you see anything here, and uh, I think maybe they share it, so um, a really good bargain. Yeah. You want to come and see Wati yeah. in shop number 19. 19. Okay. Uh, Baruna Bit Market. Baruna Bit Market. They will certainly be here. You come my shop number 19. Baruna Bit Market. Good price. Brilliant. Have Thank lot you. of things. Lots of things and very good price. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Number 20 is next. Yes, Neil. <laughs> Neil is number 20. You are number 20, so tell me all about yourself. You are? Wayan. This is Wayan. Uh, Mrs. Wayan. Mrs. Wayan. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Wayan. <laughs> right, so we're going to go in. I think, yes, you can go. Debbie, are you watching? I think we found your um, long lost sister. Um, so we're going to have a look around again. You yeah. fix price shop? Yes, we okay. do fix price. We do uh, bargaining. Okay. Whatever the people Whatever like. the people like. Yeah, okay. sometimes. So um, like maybe, maybe you want to tell the people um, what sort of prices, maybe point to the shirt and yes. it's the wrong or something and tell yes, them, tell them what you think. Men shirt, I have a polo. Okay. I have a Hawaiian shirt. And how much would a Hawaiian shirt be? Uh, Seven dollars. Seven dollars. So that's yes. seventy thousand people. Yes. Yeah, uh, remember, it's not Austra it's Australian dollars, not American dollars. Yes. Uh, 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 any dollars. Any, any dollars. <laughs> any dollars. Any, any dollars uh, that work. Australian. Uh, Singapore dollars. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's cheaper. Yeah, very much cheaper. You have Singapore this, dollars. Yeah, I have a lot of dress here. Lots. I have a, any uh, style, any, any model. Brilliant, yeah. yeah. And I have a short dress. Okay, and how much would one of your short dresses be? Short yeah? dress, this is $10. $10, so it's 100,000 people? Yes, 100,000. And this is... Uh, Seven to okay. ten. Seven to ten, depending. Yes. Okay, so seventy uh, to a hundred. This is wrong. Five to ten. Sorry, how much? A uh, five uh, dollars to ten dollars. Oh, depending on which store. Yeah, depends. Okay, so it's fifty, 50 to a hundred. Yes. So, um, the ones at the top, I would assume, are the dear ones, and the ones at the bottom are the cheap ones. Yes. Mm. Yes. So there we are. We keep on looking round. We got, yeah. got little towels. There is and something. Uh, one dollar to three dollars. Okay, so uh, towel or t-shirt. I have a billabong t-shirt. So it's lots yeah. and lots here to choose, guys. I have a okay. Bali t-shirt or bintang t-shirt. Yeah. Quick silver stuff up there. You have a billabong for the children. Children. And we come round. I have a mimco bag. Mimco bag. This Where are we looking? Like okay. Well, that doesn't mean anything to me, but I'm sure all you ladies are going to say, "Yep, we know exactly what that is." <laughs> and how much are they? This one, uh, ten to twelve up to okay. fifteen. Okay. Okay. So a hundred to hundred and fifty thousand, yes. depending on the bag. So um, I don't know anything about bags, ladies. So um, mm -hmm. you're going to have to make your own choices there, because I, I really can't help you. But there is the pictures. <laughs> 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 and we come round and you can see some little girls' dresses and um, even footballs if you want to go and play football on the beach. Yes. Um, so it's a big choice, big choice. This might be some sexy oh, top maybe. and a sexy... I don't, think, I don't think it look good on me. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> this is good in, uh, for you at night time. Oh, for me at night time. <laughs> ah, so when I wear my wig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, uh, seriously, guys, I don't do that. <laughs> right, so if there's anything you see here, okay. um, come and see Wayan. I'm a Wayan, shop number 20. I'm in Bali, Baruna Beach Market, visiting me here. Fantastic, thank you. I'm sure they will come and see you. Just okay. if for nothing else, for your lovely smile. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we're carrying on down the last couple of shops in the market. Um, we'll just wander down, there's nobody sat outside these as such, so we'll carry on a little bit until somebody else is speaking to us. Um, they all look very, very similar, and you've heard the prices now as well, which is, it's great to have an idea what the prices are, because 
all too often you go in and you really don't know what you're paying. Now there's some very different bits here, so I think I might take a look in this shop. They're quite good, I like that. I'm going to go in the shop and have a look because uh, next shop up I think next shop up so we're going to go in and have a look in here some very different stuff in there it's always good it's not very much but um, straight away you can see some different bits not a lot not a lot at all actually I think the majority of this the stock was outside which is a shame so we'll go back outside I do like that head uh, I might bring the back at some stage and uh, we got all the wind chimes up here but, um, and we'll carry on further down and we got the last couple of shops here now and pretty much Pretty much, it's um. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Right. There's some ladybirds there. <laughs> Might just have to um. Consider one of them. Hello there. How are you? Very well. I'm gonna, gonna come and yes, yes. You fix price shop. Yes. You fix price shop. Nice. And you are. I'm Kutut. Kutut. She's Monica there. And Monica, that's yeah. Monica over there. So we got Kutut and Monica. She's Monica. Monica. She's the owner. She is the owner. Yeah. So do I speak to the boss or do I speak yeah. to you? You can speak the boss <laughs> with the boss. <laughs> we'll come in and have a look around. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Shop. <laughs> so we're going to come and have a look around. This is a, uh, could, um, the shop is called. Yeah, thank you. Number, which shop is this? Number. No number. No number. Monica shop. Monica shop. So there's no number, just Monica shop. Yeah. So we're going to have a look around in here. Yes, please. Um, and sort of see what is different in here compared to other places. Um, we've got some fans there. Now we've got the nice little VW Bluetooth speakers up there. Uh, very popular a couple of years ago. Um, I've, I personally have one myself, which is in my van. Um, I think that's Bluetooth uh, dogs there, maybe. Maybe dancing dogs. And we come round and we have a look. Lots and lots of bags, ladies. Um, and cushions and cushion covers. I think this shop's definitely aimed at the ladies more than the men. But we'll... Uh, Go around. And we come down here and have a look at all the bits of brass. We're hoping at some stage we're going to find this snail again. Uh, but will we find it? I don't know. We may have to go back to Hardy's and buy it. Okay, so we'll carry on. Um, it gives you a look around Mona, Mona shop. I think you see here, you know where to come. Come and see Katut. And you'll be able to buy to your heart's content. So that was Market and um, Barona, Baruna Beach Market. Now you've seen plenty of shops down as we walk down through and you've seen prices and you've seen ladies. Um, hopefully it's given you a great idea to um, come and buy something that you want. Um, as I said, it's just down the, um, if you go down um, Pantai Sindhu uh, towards the beach, um, turn left and it's about another, I don't know, about 200 yards on your left. Easily miss it if you're not looking for it, but I'm sure one of the ladies is gonna ask you to come up and have a look at our shop in the market. And um, when they do, just give them the time because um, get past that initial sort of panic about um, where you're being hassled or you've got to buy stuff. You know, they just want to have a bit of fun. They just want to, you know, try to support their own families as well. Remember that. And, you know, come in and visit them. 
Um, if you think this has um, been helpful, if you've you know enjoyed the video, you know give us a thumbs up. And if you know you want to see more of this type of content, uh, subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Look after yourselves, and see you later. Bye.